Um, so last time I saw you, I said I had something exciting planned, and the day has come. Um, going dirt bike riding in the Himalayas. Um, I found somewhere here in Pokhara where I can hire a Crossfire 250, which is kind of like a copy of a CRF 250. I've had a look over the bike, looks pretty good to be honest, um, and it's what all the reputable tour guys around here use to go off into the, into the wilds. Uh, having watched a few YouTube videos of the road I'm hoping to take, it looks like it's going to be pretty damn epic. It looks like it's going to be an awesome ride. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to, to get into it. Um, I thought I would show you what I sort of pack on one of these little trips. Sometimes it's sort of a mixture of what I have um, and what's available. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a quick look at that. Alright, so I always try and pack as light as possible. So I have this little bag here that folds up in on itself, which is really good, but this is what I use for most of my little day trips or side adventures. As far as clothes go, clean underwear. Um, I'll take a pair of jeans because I think it could be cold up there. I've got a jumper, t-shirt, pair of shorts. And that, that'll do. I'll wear a, a t-shirt and I've got some riding pants, riding jacket, and gloves, rain jacket. Uh, I'll take this little thing which has just got important documents and stuff like that in it. Uh, emergency toilet paper is always a good idea. I've got a little tool kit. Uh, just some basic spanners, allen keys. The guy I rented the bike off gave me a spare accelerator cable, clutch lever, and front brake lever. I'll take my camera. Got a few mounts for the GoPro. I've got the charger for the GoPro, my phone charger, a couple of spare batteries. Uh, these are the, the permits for the area that I'm going. I was only able to get one permit done yesterday, because the um, which is this one, the National Trust for Nature Conservation permit. I wasn't able to get my TIMS, I don't think, but the guy at the office said just to give him this bit of paperwork, 2,000 rupees at the first um, checkpoint, I should be able to get the TIMS done there. Sunscreen, really important. You get quite burnt up in these sort of places. I'll take a little paper map with me. I don't think I'm going to need it, but you know, it's always handy to have. Got a little first aid kit I'll take with me. It's only really good for cuts and bruises, but, you know, Better to have it than not. Some painkillers, some pills in case I eat something that doesn't agree with me. Always take a pair of sunnies. I got my little multi tool, torch, phone, and wallet. A few toiletries because, you know, guy's got to look after himself. And my Kindle. Can't live without my Kindle. Always like to um, read before I go to bed. Yeah, so that's it. That's what I'll take. Um, I'm going to pick up a sleeping bag from the guy that, I, um, that I'm hiring the bike from. And that's it. Title on the back of the bike and we'll get on the road. All right, so I'm all packed up, okay. ready to go. Got all my gear on, so let's hit the mountains. Thanks boys. This for the festival? Yeah. yeah, nice one. Nice one boys, have a good one. See you dude. Bye. See you man. Jomson? Jomson this way? Awesome, thanks buddy. Good 
water? Water. Yeah. Thank you, sir. How much? Twenty. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So I'm still about sixty kilometers away from Jomsom. Just stopped at one of these little roadside stalls to have some water and a little rest. It's actually really hot. You can see that I'm sweating like a legend. But yeah, it's, it's fun. It's been good. Uh, a bit slower than I wanted. Got away a bit later. I anticipated and I've stopped twice to retie my luggage because I just kept slipping off the side but I think I've found a, um, a solution now. It seems to be staying on there so I'm just going to drink the rest of this water because I've got nowhere to put it on the bike and then uh, continue on. So when I stopped for fuel my sunglasses broke. The lens fell out so I've just sort of been sitting the lens in there and putting them on and hopefully that'll work until we get to Johnson because I definitely need something to protect my eyes. I have another pair in my bag but yeah I don't really don't want to dig them out so fingers crossed they last. Good buddy. So, my glasses lens just fell out. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'll try without it for a little while, otherwise I'll have to um, dig into the bag. Which will be very annoying. But, that's life. <sighs> How are you? Thanks. That's good. Do you need this one as well? Is that one? No worries. You need people? Ah, uh, me this one. up here it's on the side of the road yeah, a bit of an issue with the bike um, whenever I crack the accelerator and go and give it some it just bub, 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 sort of bogs down it doesn't seem to be um, well definitely not getting proper power so yeah I'm not sure I'll have a bit of a look um, just make sure nothing's come loose might pull the seat off have a look at the air filter See if it's maybe got really dirty or wet or something somehow and but yeah, I'm not sure. A little bit disappointing, but what can you do? That's life. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, so the air filter definitely wasn't clean. Uh, there was dust where there probably shouldn't be dust, so I've given it a good, well, as good as I can. Bash it out. Clean all the dust off that part. Probably open up the carby, have a look there, see if any of the jets are um, are blocked, and then start it and see what happens. Uh, pulled the carby off and cleaned it a little. Had a bit of help. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. Didn't seem too bad, but we'll just put it back together and see what happens. Six what years old? What is your name? My name is Parivina Paja. And your name? And your name? Oh, pleased to meet you. <laughs>
make a video now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh, say hello. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Get out of the way now. Alright, she's back together. So I guess I'll start it up and see what happens. Awesome, so I started up. Uh, it seems to be better. It seems to be working, so I'll pack everything back up. Say goodbye to these little rascals. And then see if I how much further I can get before night falls. Can you dance as well? <laughs> Bike's packed back up. I'm ready to go. I think after that little delay, I'm not going to make it to Jom Som today, so I'll probably just ride for another two hours or so and find some place to stay. So, let's rock and roll. So I've made it to Marfa, Ma, Ma, Marfa, yeah. Uh, it's only about five kilometers from Jomsom, but it's getting dark, and yeah, I don't know. I was only going to try to get to Jomsom because that's the first place I looked on the map. So, <laughs> to be honest, I'll just stay here tonight. I might even uh, end up staying here tomorrow night. I'm probably going to try and dump my gear and just go for an explore tomorrow. It's been a bit of a pain in the butt having the gear on the back um, because those bikes obviously aren't really designed to have anything attached to them. It's mean I've had to sort of sit down the whole day otherwise it slides forward and bounces all over the place. So it's been it's been a fun ride but it could have been a lot funner if I had been able to not have that stuff on the back. But I'm gonna, yeah take my stuff in, grab something to eat, I'm pretty hungry. Um, might go for a little wander around a bit later on, just see how we're going. Doesn't look like there's too much to do here, but it's not really the point, is it? It's, uh, this is the point. So yeah, we're going to explore those mountains tomorrow. Quick update on the bike, seems to be running fine since I cleaned the air filter and the carby, so I think tomorrow morning I'll just clean that air filter again. It's only gonna take five, 10 minutes, and yeah, better to be safe than sorry, eh?